A group of high-profile Iranians have launched a video campaign urging Congress to vote in favor of the Iran nuclear deal. Many of them have been jailed by their own government for their political views. I support the Iran deal because I strongly believe that sanctions are violating the human rights of Iranian people, and more importantly because I support security and peace. It's time for Americans to contact their representatives in the Congress and ask them to vote for peace. The whole world is watching. Joining us now is Negar Mosazavi. She is an Iranian-American journalist and activist. She helped spearhead the grassroots and video campaign in support of the deal. And for fans of VOA Iran, they may have heard you on VOA at some times in past years. Thank you for joining us. First, tell me how this project began. Uh, was there an organization that pulled together these Iranian dissidents uh, in support of the nuclear deal? No, it was actually a completely grassroots movement. A group of friends literally in New York got together. And I kept hearing um, these concerns from Iranians in the diaspora, especially in the U.S., that they kept hearing the opposition to the deal, all these advertisements, the money that's been spent by different lobby groups, and even um, Iranian dissidents who've been coming against the deal. So um, the diaspora and the younger Iranian Americans, they kept telling me that they feel like they need to do something and let their voice also be heard um, in the world media and especially in the U.S. media so that the American people also know what they think. So the target is U.S. media? Definitely U.S. media, the American people, and ultimately the lawmakers who are supposed to vote on this. And the people who are participating, are they for the most part um, Iranian expats or are some of them still in Iran? Um, so there were two different events that happened. There was an event, a more grassroots event of uh, just regular citizens, mostly Iranians across the world, who came together in 100 cities um, and with the with the banner of peace and supporting the nuclear deal and preventing an, a, a possible war with Iran. But there's also a series of videos. These are personal messages that are by prominent Iranians who support the deal. I would say um, the majority of them are outside Iran. Most of them are living in exile. They've paid a very high price for human rights and democracy. But there's also some inside Iran. There was even one audio message from inside a prison in Iran. So as you know, all dissidents do not support the Iran nuclear Definitely. agreement. And one group in particular published an article in the Daily Beast, I want to get the quote right here, criticizing what they call Western apologists and appeasers of Iranian theocracy. They don't trust Iran to meet the terms of the deal. They don't trust Iran, period. So how deep are the divisions uh, within the dissident community? I would say, well, first of all, the majority of the Iranians inside Iran want this to happen for very different reasons, mostly for economic reasons. But Iranians who are outside Iran who d are not directly impacted by the sanctions and the economy are also worried about the political and the social situation if this deal breaks. That's why these human rights defenders and these democracy fighters, they came out in support of the deal saying not that the human rights situation in Iran is perfect, but this deal will help open up the platform and the domestic debate about human, social, and political rights inside Iran. And if this still doesn't happen in the absence of peace and within any military intervention or just more tension, the situation for the activists on the ground would just be worse. Well, as you know, here in America, yesterday we had someone on our a broadcast, a uh, congressman, Democrat, who says that he can't trust Iran, that, for example, the deal does nothing about human rights, uh, does nothing about um, um, people who are in prison, a uh, resign, uh, uh, one of our Jason colleague Rezaian. Jason Rezaian. So, and then yesterday, a report uh, leaked from the UN's nuclear watchdog group, IAEA, accuses Iran of building a structure that may make it more difficult to verify whatever they've been doing. So, what is Iran? Isn't Iran like creating this this climate of distrust? And then the question is, how can you trust them? Um, I think it's a, it's a difficult situation to look at from one angle because the mistrust comes from both sides. The Iranians also have a lot to say about how they mistrust the U.S., how they've tried to reach out to the U.S. and have been abandoned during the Bush era especially. There's been a lot of back and forth during the past thir three decades and basically 35 years of U.S.-Iran animosity. But basically with the Iranian people, the majority of the Iranian people and these civil society actors and prominent Iranians are saying is 
let's give peace a chance. Let this work out. Let's see what happens after three decades of just tension and calling out each other and, you know, doing things behind the scenes. Let's see what this new chapter is bringing us. No one's expecting a 100% success, but this is the best chance that we have right now to move forward. Let's not break this. Let's see what happens. Let's give, us, let's give it some time. And if it doesn't work out, we'll get back to square one. Nigar Motazavi, journalist, thank you very much for Thanks your for time. Having me.